Hi everyone. Now today I'm going to show you how to design an F1 in school's car using Autodesk Inventor. Now, to start off by designing your car, you will need two things. The first one is obviously this Autodesk Inventor. You can use any of the last few years of version of Autodesk Inventor. And the second thing that you need is obviously a great car with lots of designs. Right? Now, uh, the design that we are going to be designing looks like this. It is an entry class design, right? And uh, you might have seen this kind of design before. Now I'm going to run you through how to design this car, right? So first of all, after you have installed the Autodesk Inventor software, go to File, New, right? So once you are at New, you will notice that uh, you need to go to Metric, right metric select this one standard mm.ipt and then you press create right now once this is done now you'll notice that my canvas is blue yours might be gray now it is a bad idea to have a gray canvas because the lines that you're going to about to draw are all gray in color so there's no contrast it's very hard to see so i suggest you go and change the background which you can by going to Tools, Application Option, go under Colors, search for Sky, and then press, right, search for Sky, and then press OK, right? Now, second, second problem that I foresee is this. Some of you might not have this toolbar appearing. Don't worry. Just go to uh, View, go to View, User Interface. Make sure that whatever I have checked here, right, with a tick, you also select, right? I'm pretty sure that the navigation bar will come out, right? Now, first step, right? You should also have this with you, the five steps of design, right? So these are the five steps. First one, you need to start a new sketch on a work plane or a surface. Currently, we don't have any surfaces, but we do have some work planes. Now, where are the work planes? The work planes are here. I need you to go to uh, 3D view. This house here is called 3D view, right? Go under here, open up the origin. You'll notice that there are three work planes. Now, as you are clicking them, I just want you to take a look what are your three work planes that you have. You have the YZ plane, you have the XZ plane, you have the XY plane, right? So these are the three work planes. Now today, we are going to start with the YZ plane. So we're going to create a new sketch, the first step. Huh? So what you will do is you will go to this, right click, and press on new sketch. Right? Now, once this is done, you'll notice that it actually turns into a 2D view. So the 2D view is done automatically for this software. Now, you will need to sketch the profile, right, with dimensions. And after that, you press on the finish sketch button. So sketching is quite easy. Go to line, right? This is what you sketch. Start from the origin here. Go up, right? Sketch a trapezium. Make sure it's vertical, right? And then you join back. Now, when you join back, uh, make sure the green circle appears like this to show that the shape is closed. Once this is done, you can press on escape, right? Press escape. Right, next. Now, our shape are all of different sizes. Now, we are going to use dimension to make sure that our size are all the same. So, go to dimension. Click on the line. All right. Now, click somewhere outside here and change the dimension to 70. Right. So, you'll notice that your shape actually goes out of the blue canvas area. Don't worry. Now, I need you to scroll your wheel. Scroll your wheel. Scroll your wheel. Now, if you realize that scrolling the wheel don't make your object come down, you can actually pull down the shape, right? You can move your wheel, and move your wheel up and down, okay? This is what you can do, right? Now, another dimension, make sure it's 20. Okay. Now, make sure that this dimension button is pressed down. And then the last one here will be 240, okay? That is 240. Now, you can actually drag your shape out. Uh. You can drag your shape out. How you do that? 
click on your click press down your wheel your mouse has a wheel right press down the wheel pull the shape out right pull the shape out then you can zoom in and zoom out so make sure that the whole shape is nicely done right so now we have sketched the profile we have added in the dimensions now we can press the finish sketch button right so the finish sketch button is here over here finish sketch button okay that's the finish sketch button right and then uh now when you press on finish sketch button you do realize that it automatically goes back to 3d view right okay now you can actually press on the 3d view here so that it fits everything into the screen and now we are ready to perform the last step features with extrusion right so you can go to 3d model now go to extrude now a dialog box will appear you also notice that there's a bit of a 10 mm extrusion right on your shape now today our width is 42 and we would like you to go symmetrical right symmetric Symmetric means uh, you extrude 21 to the left and 21 to the right. Okay, so it's symmetrical. So now uh, this shape uh, is being extruded with symmetrically about your YZ plane. Remember, your YZ plane is now in the middle. All right, this is important because later we are going to do mirroring. Whatever is on one side of the car, we are going to mirror onto the other side. So therefore, it's important that we do symmetrical. Thing. Okay, press the OK button and you are done okay now i suggest that you save this as this okay. is a test okay. right now next thing now the next feature i would like you to try is a rotate now how do you do rotation very simple hold down the shift key hold down the shift key on your keyboard press the wheel down press the wheel down Okay, do not release your shift key, press the wheel down also, and move your mouse, okay? You'll notice that you can move your mouse, right? So this is called rotation, okay? You can move your mouse like that, okay? So that's how you do it, right? Now, if let's say you rotate until that you don't know how to get back to the same orientation, don't worry, the box, this home here is your best tool. Click on this, it will automatically go back to the 3D view here, right? So this is how you do it. Now, we're going to create a canister behind. So I need everyone to turn to the back. Okay, turn to the back. Now, we're going to start off again with all the five steps. First one, we start a new sketch. Start a new sketch on a work plane or surface. Now, currently, we have surfaces ready. So this surface, right click. Right click, new sketch. Right, new sketch. So same thing, we are going to create a canister hole here. So go to circle, this time around go to circle. Now your circle must be somewhere in the middle, all right? Don't draw your circle here, don't draw your circle here. Draw your circle somewhere here. Now for example, if you draw your circle wrongly, don't worry. Press the escape button, press the escape button, click on the sketch, and then press the delete key, right? One more time, huh? if you draw, something that is not what you want very simple press the escape button click on the line you want to delete and press the delete button on your keyboard okay now the circle that we want to draw is here right now make sure that your circle is right in the middle somewhere here in the center line along the center line now draw a circle right now the dimensions of this is going to be 19 mm so can all of you draw this and dimension this to 19? Now, how do you dimensions? It's not difficult at all. Go to dimension, click on the circumference, right? Click on the circumference, click outside, and change it to 19, right? This thing, some of the circles are too high, some of the circles are too low. Can we adjust the height of the circle? Okay, no problem. Go to dimensions, click on the circumference, right make sure your mouse make sure your button make sure your finger is no longer clicking the button right move your mouse down click again the bottom right and you'll notice that there is a di there's another dimension here 
click again and change this to 30, right? So you realize that the you realize that the circle actually shift downwards. Okay. So this is step three, right? So the last thing that we need to do is to press on finish sketch, right? Finish sketch is this one here. This is the finish sketch button. So press this button here, right? And third step, we go to 3D view, right? We go to 3D view. Now for the 3D view, I suggest you don't press the 3D view, right? Because you press the 3D view, this circle is going to be away from our view, okay? So what I need to do now is go to 3D model, extrude, right, extrude. Now this time around, there's a bit of difference. We want to do cut, right? We want to do cut. So when you cut, uh, the software will cut the hole into the solid. And today we are not doing 42. Our dimension of the hole is actually 55. So could you change this to 55 and press okay right so that's done let's take a look at the tree view again nothing much has changed it's only that we add a little bit of hole in uh, we add a hole behind right now we're going to proceed on with the next step we're going to proceed on with the next step now the next steps the next step look like this let's take a look at the next step huh? what does the next step do Right. What does the next step do? Right. Now the next step is this. We are going to cut the top of the car. Right. We're going to cut the top of the car. Let me change this to wireframe with hidden edges. Now we are going to cut the top of the car. Maybe I should change to this. Yeah. Sorry. Uh. Okay. Sorry. Let's change it back to this. Now what we are going to do is we are going to sketch a sketch like this we're going to sketch something like this the one in red right so we are going to sketch a bigger circle a bigger arc and we're going to cut this part away and we're going to remove this part away from the top of the block giving us the top part of our car okay right so this is our preview now let's go back to our design so which is the surface that you need to sketch step start a new sketch from Right. So I think it's pretty clear. You should go to this surface, right click, new sketch. Right? Right click, new sketch. Now what you what you need to draw now is this. Go to circle this time now. Now go move your mouse over the arc until you see a red dot. Now draw a bigger circle. Right, draw a bigger circle. This time round, dimension it to be 25. Okay, dimension it to be 25. Now next, if you still remember what the shape is, there's a straight line here. So we're going to draw a straight line. Now the straight line should be somewhere here, right? Should be somewhere here. Okay, right? And then you are supposed to close the shape close it right to give you something like this right once this is done press the escape button okay press the escape button right now if you look at our answer here you do notice that our shape uh, don't have this arc here right where my mouse is so i'm going to trim this away the arc that we need is actually one two three four five and this arc here okay this part here we want to remove so how will you remove this right now to remove this you can go to on top here there's a trim button so we're going to trim this away we're going to trim this away this one also the one and this one also the one right so once it's done press the escape button and now we are ready to extrude right so before extrude, uh, remember to press on the finish sketch. So you have finished the sketch, press on finish sketch. Right? Press on finish sketch. Next one, 
Last step, go to extrude. Are we adding or are we cutting? All right. So it's pretty obvious that over here we want to remove this part away. So we press on cut. We tell the software this is the part we want to cut. But uh, you based on this previous reading of 55, this is what it's going to be like. But of course, we want something that's a, a lot longer. Uh, let's try maybe 300. Okay, we want it to remove all the way to the front. And once this is okay, you press okay. Right? That's it. This is done. So that's how your car will look like for now. Okay. Right, I suggest you save your work. All right, save and overwrite your work. Right, next step. Now the next step is this. I'm gonna show you. The next step looks like this. You're gonna cut away the front part of your car. So later, this arc that you draw, this arc that you draw is really important because this will define the shape of your car. So what is the sketch you, that you must draw? Right? If you look at the red line, this is the sketch you must draw. First, you must draw a spline, or it's like a bit of curve. Then you draw another spline before you close it with straight lines. Okay, so that's what you must do. Right? So we go back to test our file. Now let's start the process again. First step, start, start a new sketch on the surface. So go to this surface, right click, right? Right click, new sketch. Right. Remember to pull this out. Huh? Now at this moment, uh, I would like everyone to actually change the view to under view, go to visual style, go to wireframe with hidden edges. Now why do you want the wireframe with hidden edges? That's because of our canister here. Remember, this is hollow. So later when we do our sketch, uh, we don't want to touch this area because if not, we'll be cutting into our canister. And when you cut into the canister, your canister is going to be exposed and you don't want that. Okay? So it's important to know where our canister dimension is, where the boundary is. Right. So we're going to go to sketch. So go to sketch, click on sketch. Now this time around, I need to click the line option. Go to spline. Go to spline. Right? Go to spline. Now start from the bottom left corner. Click somewhere along here. Click again. Somewhere along here. Click again. And then you end somewhere here. Right? End somewhere here. Okay? It must be on this line. Right? This line here. The horizontal line. Okay? Please do not end here. Please do not end here. End somewhere here. Okay? Once this is done, click again. Now, once, once you have fixed your shape, press the green tick. Right, and the shape will come up. Now, if you have made anything wrong, don't worry. Press the escape button, click on the line, and press the delete button. Okay, and then you can try again. Right, so I'm going to try again. Huh? One more time. Go to the bottom left, click once, click once, and then end somewhere here. Then press the green tick. Right. Now, we're going to do another spline. Right, click the spline again. This time around, we are going to do so. Starting from here, where you left off, can you see the green circle to show connection? This time around, we are going to draw something like this. Okay, something like this. And then you press on the green tick. Right. Lastly, use straight lines. Use straight lines to connect everything together. Use straight lines to connect everything together. Okay. Right. So once this is done, once this is done, you can press the finished sketch button. Okay. So 3D view is already done. Next one, we're going to extrude. So by now you should be quite familiar with this, right? This is our third extrusion. So go to feature, extrude, we are cutting, right? So based on this preview, it's pretty obvious that they know what you want to cut, right? Okay, they know what you want to cut. 
So once you see the preview coming out, you can press OK. Right. So the shape is done. The shape is done for this part here. Right. Now, let's take a look at our car here. Right. Let me go back to shade it with edges. Oh, that's bad. I think I must shade back. Huh? Shade it with hidden edges. All right, now, the next thing we want you to do is we want you to add some wheel recess. So can you see that I have actually drawn a circle? Right, a circle here. This is a circle here. There's a circle here where my mouse is. And you have this shape here that looks like a right angle. But here, there is an arc here. What we are going to do is we are going to remove them. But this time around, when I, when I remove, right, I'm not going to remove all the way. If I remove all the way, I think my car is going to be in pieces, right? So you extrude cut, but you extrude cut with a few mm only, okay? Right, so which surface should we start our sketch on? Right, which surface should be this one, right? So right click, new, sketch, right? Right click, new, sketch. Right. Now this time around, I'm going to draw a circle. So I go to the circle tool. I'm going to be, I'm going to sketch somewhere here, somewhere here, right? Somewhere in the middle from here to here, somewhere in the middle, right? Sketch a circle. And uh, the dimension that I would like you like to do is say 40, okay. around 40. Right, around 40. Right, you can also dimension this. Click on the circumference, click on the circumference, click on the bottom, pull out a dimension, and change this to 40. That's the rear wheel recess, right? Let me pull this out to this part here. Now for the front part, this is what I'm going to draw. I'm going to first draw a vertical line somewhere here. Remember to leave a bit of space here. Huh? Okay, press escape, press escape. Remember to leave a bit of space here because this is the width of, this is the length of your tube. Okay, don't draw your line here. Draw somewhere here. Okay, draw somewhere here. Okay, next one. We are going to draw a spline. Right, your spline should start from here. Right, where the two splines that you drew intersected. So click, click, click and here right so come down here and then press the green tick now these two are called handles so you can actually drag oops sorry you can actually drag the way you can drag the arc of the handle to make sure that the curve is like what you want right and lastly we need to close this with straight lines Okay, so from here to make sure the green circle appears to show connection, right? Okay. If the shape is not closed, I can guarantee you that this step will not proceed, right? It will not proceed. So once this is done, you can press on the finish sketch button, which is here, finish sketch. And last part, of course, I'm sure you know the drill, right? Go to 3D model, extrude, cut. Right, now this time around, the software is a little bit stupid. It doesn't know what you want to cut, right? So you need to select the area you want to cut. So after you press on cut, make sure you select the two regions that you want it to cut, okay? Now obviously, with this PV of 300, I'm going to get my car into a few pieces. That's not what I want, right? So change this to about, say, 10, right? Change this to about 10. And you can see that they cut a little bit. Huh? Maybe change this to 9, right? Change this to 9. Once this is done, you can press OK. And uh, you get the other part of the car, okay? You get one side of the car, okay? Now, how will you mirror this feature on the left side of the car to the other side? How will you do that? Now, to do that, we are going to use the mirror tool. 
Now the mirror tool doesn't follow any of the five steps here. The mirror tool is just a few clicks here and there, right? Not very difficult. So what you can do is this. Now please follow. This is a little bit difficult for some students. Now first you click on mirror. First you click on mirror. You'll notice that a dialog box open. Next, click on the feature. They're asking you, what feature do you want to mirror? This one, right? Extrusion 5, the latest extrusion you want to mirror. Next one, click on the mirror plane. You have to tell the box, you have to tell this software, where is your mirror plane? Now remember, just now our YZ plane here, the one that YZ plane is the one that runs through the middle, right? So click on the YZ plane. Now, once you have done this successfully, you, not, you do notice there's a bit of a green outline on appearing on the other side, right? So this goes to show that your um, mirror is successful. Press OK. That's it. OK. That's done. All right. It's done. OK. Now, last step. One more step. Huh? Let's take a look at our development class car here. Right. Let's take a look. So I have also done the mirroring here. Uh, extrusion. Now, how will you do this? Let's test you. Okay. How will you do this? Okay. Well, I don't like the crew. Okay, let, let, let me change this to something that you all can see a lot, a lot clearer. Let's change this to, uh, sorry. Let's change this to Birch. Let's change this a little bit lighter because it's a little bit hard to see with all the black color. It looks cool, but it's actually uh... okay. So how will you do this? How will you do this tip here? All right, can you see that I've actually tried to make a bit of an arrow tip? Okay, all right. So the clue is this. What is the sketch? Uh huh. This is the sketch. This is the sketch. This is a sketch. So I have drawn from here an arc using the spline tool, and then I close this. After that, I'm going to extrude this area that I'm moving around here. Okay? Can? So with that in mind, with that in mind, I'm going to go back to our test, right? I need you to rotate to the bottom over here right click right over here where the base of the car is right click new sketch right now this is the this is the back of a car let us pull the car down until you see this until you see this and now we are ready to start the sketch right we can start the sketch so we need to use a spline tool. Now, how will you use the spline tool? Now, starting from here, make sure there's a green circle. Click, click, and uh, now where should you end? You should end when you see the green circle. Uh, now, the green circle signifies that this green dot is right in the middle of the car, right? Don't stop here. Don't stop here. Make sure it's in the. Make sure the green circle comes up. Then press on the green tick to finalize. This is the handle. You can pull the handle to make sure that the arc is what you want. And lastly, make sure your shape is close by using straight lines. Right? You're using lines to close the shape. Right? Now, once this is done, press the finish sketch button. Right? And lastly, we are now ready to extrude. Okay, we are now ready to extrude. So go to extrude. So question: Are we adding? Or are we subtracting? Okay. So if you are subtracting the distance, let's just put fifty, right? Make sure that the subtraction is complete. Look, this is the subtraction here, right? Where the rectangle is, is removing anything in its path. Once this is done, press OK. Right. Once this is done, press OK. 
Now we're going to mirror this tip uh, as usual. So one more practice. Go to mirror, which is somewhere here. The mirror tool here. Okay. Press on mirror. Now, what do you do? Click on the latest feature, which is this one. Click on the mirror plane and click on the YZ plane, which is your mirror plane. Once this is done, if you notice the green outline, green preview, press OK. Right? So save your work before anything goes wrong. Save your work. Right? Save your work. Okay? Right. I think I want to do the last step here. If you notice my orange car now, okay? If you notice my orange car, right? Okay. Now, I would like you to do this on your own. Let's see whether you can do it. Over here, I've actually cut a bit of the back of the car. I have cut a bit of the back of the car away just to make sure that the car looks in a better design. We want the back to be tapered so that the air drag will all be channeled. Okay? We don't want the air... Uh, because if not, there will be a lot of turbulence behind. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. Okay? So if you understand what has been happening for the past half an hour, you should start your new sketch here. So back to step one. Back to step one. We need to start a new sketch on the surface, which is over here. Right click, new sketch. All right. This time round, I need you to go to line. Just a very simple line. Starting from maybe somewhere here. All right. Don't cut too high. Eh? Cut somewhere around here. All right. Nothing very tough here. Make sure you close this shape. All right. Once you have done, press on the finish sketch button. And then we are going to extrude cut. Okay. Extrude cut. All right. Then you can press the green okay so that's done your car is done right but do you notice that over here i've actually created uh, this tool here there's this tool here called fillet now what is filleting now filleting is the easiest thing that you can do right filleting means you do rounding off on the edges right so filleting is here under here fillet right fillet means you round off okay you round the edges so filleting is quite easy, right? You click on the edges. Remember, uh, don't click on the surface. Click on the edges. So you can click on a few edges at the same time, right? You can click on the edges at the same time. One here, one here, one here, one here. You can click here, right? If you click here, you must also remember to rotate uh, and click here also. Can. You can click here, you can click here, right? Can. Uh, let's see, uh, I hope there's no error. Oh, that's error, okay? Now, as you can see that there are errors, so I believe that you shouldn't be selecting so many edges all at once. So I suggest you only click two of the edges, or three or four, okay? Then you press... Maybe I can select these two or so. Okay. Right. I can select this one and uh, this one. Okay. Then you press on apply. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what's happening now? I think. Uh, if you find that you get some errors, uh, I suggest you actually delete the whole fillet away, right? You can try this again. I think the problem is I'm selecting too many edges, okay? So that's a common problem. So just select maybe two or four, okay? Press apply, okay? No errors coming out. Uh, wait, uh, cannot do that. Press oh, what happened now? All right, I think I'm going to retry everything. This time around, I want to select only two edges. All right, that's okay. Select some more. I 
I think this one got problem, huh? okay? I think there's a bit of a problem here. So I'm going to fill it maybe this two. Seems to be a problem. Huh? I think it's because of this part, is it? Yeah, I think it's because of this part. Oh, okay. I think I know why. Because this part, if I zoom in, uh, it's not a clean... Okay? It's not really a clean cut. Uh -huh. So I think I know what is the error. Okay. Right. Now, for most of you, you shouldn't have this error. You can just go and carry on with the... Uh, yeah, I think... Just now, I didn't. Move this. Is this the answer? Okay. Right. Oops. Still here. Uh, oh, okay. I think I get it. The error is here. When I remove this, I actually left a bit of gap here okay left a bit of a gap here okay right i think this is perfect now all right let me try to fill it this now hopefully it doesn't give us any more errors yeah okay and it works perfect okay so just now when uh, when we did a cut, it wasn't a clean cut, right? It wasn't a clean one. So you can fillet most of the... Now, filleting is important because later when you do the rendering, uh, you realize that those parts that you fillet uh, are the ones that give out the most shine, right? They are the ones that give out the most shine, okay? So have fun filleting, right? Have fun filleting. And lastly, you can save your work. You can save your work, right? Right. Now, the last step. Now, the car is complete already. The car is complete. Now, the last step is this. I would like to show you how to do the rendering. Rendering is pretty simple. You just got to try. Go to generic, right? Select one that you like. So, for example, I am going to select... You can try gold, right? This is how gold is like. Uh, now, this doesn't look very nice, right? So you can go to view, go to visual style, right? Go to visual style, press realistic, right? Press realistic. You realize that when it goes realistic, can you see the shine? Do you realize that the parts that you fill it, like this part here and this part here, can you see the shine coming out from here, right? So just now, filleting was important because this will bring out the shine, right? This will bring out the shine. Right, uh, more things you can try. You can try wood, because this is the balsa wood, right? You can try birch, right? This is the wood. Now you can you can have fun playing with this, right? Uh, you can try you can try carbon fiber. Let's try. Is carbon fiber nice? Yeah, okay. <laughs> carbon fiber. You can try. Just now I think that one was chrome. Is it? Is it chrome? Yeah, chrome. I think chrome. Chrome polish. Yes, this one. Right? This looks very metallic, very aluminium feel. Black. Uh, chrome polish blue. Yeah, this one. Chrome polish blue. You can try that. Uh, there are some others that you can try. I could. Okay, something like this. So this is how you can do the rendering. Right? But I'm going to stick with chrome polish blue. This one. Because I, I feel that this looks the best. You can save your work, right? And then you can export this as a picture, right? You can export this as a picture that you can show your friends or upload uh, to share with your teammates, right? Okay. So I hope that you have a very uh, informative time here trying to learn some of these features to create an F1 in school's car. Remember that you must have a great design, you must have a software, you must have lots of ideas. And lastly, you need to know these five steps. Okay? Have a great day, everyone. And hopefully, uh, we get a chance to see you at a competition once this coronavirus saga is over. All right? Stay safe, everyone.
and wear masks. Thank you.